Hey. I, I titled this real real life man shit. Cause we go through real life man shit. So, fellas, I ain't had nobody to teach me shit like this. So I'ma teach you. When you're young, you should be focusing on stuff like building your credit. Alright, cause it's extremely important. I know we getting money. I know when I was young, I was like, I'm getting money. I pay for everything cash. I ain't stressing it. But then when I went to get a house, no credit. So I gotta build that up. Take the time to build that up. You gotta take the time to invest in yourself early while you're young. You know what I'm saying? I've been busting my ass trying to get my credit shit up, my credit score up. We done got the website together, the domain finally connected. Um I picked up another skill. I learned how to fix cars. So now I'm getting side money doing the mechanic stuff. So, and I got the nine to five. So I'm working 50 hours a week, doing my mechanic shit on the side, and I'm starting to break out clothing. So, but at the same time, I'm working on my credit because I slacked on that, which I shouldn't have. I should have built that. So I'm building that now. And this is real life man shit. Somebody should have taught me this. I ain't gonna point no fingers. But I'm gonna teach y'all, bro, focus on that credit. Even if you get a, a quick secured credit card when you're 18 and you got a $200 limit because you put that $200 down, use 25% of it monthly and pay it off. Just build your credit up. Build your credit up. Invest in things. Even Cash App. Cash App got this investing joint. I'll be investing through that. Invest in things. Throw a little ten dollars here, a little twenty dollars here, a little ten dollars here, and then forget about it. A little ten dollars here, and forget about it. Then check in the month, see if you want to sell it, see if it's worth it. If not, keep it and, and, and just keep growing. It's just, just forget about it. Put it aside and forget about it. The money that we go out and blow drinking to the club or on this shit, we could be putting it in investments. We could be buying properties. We could be putting it in our business to make more money. You could be investing in yourself, picking up skills, uh, learning more, getting you a personal trainer, getting you a life coach, a financial advisor, things of that nature. So, fellas, if you only get one thing from this video, it's start young. Credit is important. I don't care how much money you get in, credit is important. Why not use somebody else's money to make money while your money is over there in the stocks or whatever, creating interest? Credit allows you to use other people's money to get things and to make more money. Okay? Say, say you buy a house and you got good credit. You get 400000 You put down 3%. You know what I'm saying? 3% of $400,000, $12,000. You put down $12,000. You get that house. You rent it out. All right? You rent it out. $2,000 a month on just one, one uh, a part of your house or, you know, whatever investment property. You got multiple people paying that. Your mortgage is $1,200. Every month, you make making $2,500, $3,000. Plus paying your mortgage. That's on top. That three thousand dollars is profit, and it didn't cost you nothing. It cost you twelve grand. But guess what? You made that money back in four months. So now, for the rest of your life, while you're sitting on that property, it's profit. It's profit. We don't gotta sell drugs, yo. We don't gotta scam. We don't gotta pimp. We don't gotta hoe. We don't gotta rob. We don't gotta kick in doors. We don't gotta do none of that shit. You just don't got nobody to tell you how to do it the right way. These older brothers are using the younger brothers to come up. If they teach you this stuff, then you won't run around moving their pack because they miss the opportunity. Or they just comfortable where they at. They like doing what they do. But know this. You are a man. You are a leader. You were built for this. So put forth the effort and the energy while you're young so that you can enjoy your older years everybody's not going to tell you this don't chase these hoes they say yeah don't chase hoes chase your purpose and the hoes are fuck yeah we know that you hear it but you're still out at the club chasing these chicks this is real life shit life is short 
You can't be 35 talking. It's not a video game where you can start over. So do it while you're young. Get a secure credit card while you're eight, when you're 18. Build that shit. We don't got to sell drugs. We don't got to pimp. We don't got to sell guns. We don't got to kick in doughs. We don't got to scam. We don't got to continue to kill our own people to get money. There's ways to get money legit. It's just nobody's teaching us. A old head, uh, uh, and I don't even know why they call themselves old heads and OGs. A OG would rather give you a pack than give you a quick 10 minute lesson on getting your credit better. Or a quick 10 minute lesson on, yo, even if you're in the streets, this is what you should do with your money. Forget buying all that designer shit. Forget the cars. Forget going out and balling at the club. Yo, you made $10,000 this week. Put that shit over here and get this property because that's that down payment. Buy three hoopties and flip them shits. Buy three cars. Buy five cars that cost you two grand with that $10,000 and flip it. You don't, and then, you know what I'm saying? Do that a couple times and then get your ass out the game. You understand how much money they make off of us going to prison? Because nobody taught us any other way, any better way. They talk about it, but they don't show us. The dope man, the pimp, the, the scammer, he shows us. He's on the block in a nice car. He's on the block with all the girls and, and, and the $50,000 worth of jewelry and the money hanging out of his pocket. He's showing us what his life gets us, what his life gets him. And then when he's in jail, you don't see all the stuff he's going through in jail, all the things he's lost and crying at night. And if he's not built for it, the things that are being done to him at night. So, as a big brother, as an OG, a real OG, somebody that put in the work, I, ain't, I just ain't talking. You can check my resume. I'm telling you, yo, you can still be a G. Because I'm a G, period. Things ain't going to test my gangster. But that don't mean I got to be out here in the streets. That don't mean I got to be out carrying my hammer. That don't mean I, 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 I got to be out here not taking care of my family. You, you, you're a man. You know, it sucked being a gangster sitting in jail. A lot of gangsters are in jail because they want to continue to do gangster shit. You can be a G and do mortgages. You can be a G and flip houses. You can be a G and, and, and start a business. It don't got to be illegal shit to make you a G. And I know some of us like, yeah, I ain't going in that world with these cops. Listen, the world's changing. Snitching became cool. So your ass going to go to jail. Is it worth it though? And then what the, What did you do with the money that you was making while you was out here? I'm telling you what to do with it. Invest it in yourself now. Forget these hoes, forget balling, forget designer, forget nice cars, forget the jewelry and all this. I bought this chain when I was, what, like 10, 12 years ago? I this piece, not the chain, I didn't switch the chain, but this piece? I kept this piece because Stewie been through with me through the, the ups, the downs, the streets, going legit, going to jail, coming home. This is the one thing that I kept from my old life. And my old life ain't that old. It, 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 it has not been that long. So, fellas, men's rum. Men's rum. My guys. My fellas that ain't boys, that are men. And if you're not there yet, you're going to learn how to be one. Because cause you invest in that time because you care about it that much. You're going to be something. You're not going to be a nigga sitting in a, in, in a cell. You're not going to be a statistic. Your mom ain't going to be at your goddamn grave site crying over your dead body. You're not going to make the news unless it's something positive. And I'm going to continue to stay on here and teach y'all the right path. Listen to what I'm saying. It might be hard. It's going to be hard. It's going to take time. The shit's not going to happen overnight. But the same thing is the game. You can't just grab a pack and go on the street and, and all of a sudden you're a dope boy. It don't work like that. It takes time. You got to build clientele and all that shit. It's the same thing, except you're not going to prison. So use the same hustle skills and take that shit to the legit world. There's so many legal things for you to flip right now. 
get to flipping like you a goddamn acrobat. And I try not to swear on here and be all aggressive, but this shit is serious to me. This shit is real to me. I'm tired of seeing my youngins sitting in cages. I'm tired of them running around here like they ain't got no goddamn sense. Because no OGs, no older heads, their pops ain't telling them what to do. So guess what? I'm going to be your big brother. You ain't got to run these goddamn streets. Sit your ass down. If you ain't working 60 hours a week or more, you slipping. You slacking. You being lazy. You being lazy as fuck. Get your ass up and get to it. Either go get you a skill, go get you a degree, or bust your ass working for somebody else so that you can work for yourself in the future. Invest the money that you make. Again, not on these hoes, not on designer, not on jewelry. You can, there's the, I know so many fresh ass bum niggas. The flyest nigga you know, the flyest nigga you know a bum because he spent all his money trying to look fly. Think about all the women you hear that say, I'm tired of these fake phony dudes because they look like they got money. Then you get around them and they talking, they hitting their man up. Yo, can you cash hat me $150 for this dinner? I got a baddie. 30-year-old man and you ain't got enough money to take a chick out for dinner. And you know why else it makes me mad? Because I was that guy for a minute. I fell off. I decided, you know what, let's have some fun. Let's party. Let's spend, blow money and get high and, and be fucked up all the time. And then I had to bounce back. And I don't want you to be that guy. I don't want you to go through that shit. I don't want you to be 20-something with your life ahead of you, lively, feeling good, energetic, still got your whole life ahead of you. Then you look up and you're in your 30s or your 40s. You done wasted all them goddamn years. You ain't in the same shape. You ain't as healthy. Your mind don't work the same. And you done missed all your goddamn opportunities. You out here bullshit and missing opportunities. You out here getting high, missing opportunities. You can't get a good job because they take, it, 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 they, they, they make you take a drug test. Stop fucking smoking weed. You can't get a good job because of this, this, and this. All these goddamn excuses. That's why I made the shirt. Be stronger than your excuses. And I made the other excuse, other shirt. No excuses. One of my models is no, no excuses, just solutions. Don't come to me with a problem if you ain't got the goddamn solution. Fellas, build yourself now so that you can be the man you want to be in the future. So that you have the right to call yourself a man. All, yo, you were born a male. You got to put in the work to be a man. You got to deserve. You got to earn that. You got to earn that title. Your age don't make you no goddamn man. I know some 50-year-old boys. Your age don't make you a man. It's your actions. It's what you can get done. And if you can't take care of your family because your credit fucked up, so that means you can't get that house. If you out here running around trapping, you risking your freedom. And when you get that felony, that messes up your future. And it's all for some goddamn pocket change. Pocket change. You know how many people I know that ruin their life to make a quick $50 play or $100 play? That $100 costs you more in bail money than it costs you more in court fees, even if you got a public defender. That $100 play you made wasn't nothing because they're going to take that $100 anyway because it's drug money. So what you just get out of that? Nothing. But a fucked up future. So to my brothers, to my brothers, if you feel like I was yelling at you, I was not, but I'm passionate about this shit and I love y'all. I love y'all. I hate seeing my brothers in cells. I hate seeing my brothers nodding out on the corners. I hate seeing my brothers on the block drinking in front of the liquor stores waiting for the shit to open at 7 a.m. All these goddamn kids running around with no daddy. Because we'd rather be out here getting high and chilling with our homies and shit and making money. If, if nobody tells you, I'm going to tell you. And if you got questions, feel free to hit me up. I wasn't even going to post this on my YouTube. I was just going to say, if you caught this live, you caught this live. And that's what it was. But I feel this was important. I feel that there was some good shit said. And if you got any questions, comments, concerns, if you want to just chop it up. If you going through some shit, 
And you don't got nobody to talk to. Because I remember saying, damn, I don't got no, 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 no big brothers or big homies to talk to. If you don't got a big homie to talk to, you got one now. If you don't know what to do. And you need some advice. And you need to find out what to do. You got somebody you can ask. I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. I ain't gonna bullshit you. I'm not gonna steer you in the wrong direction. I don't want a goddamn thing from you, but to see you successful. So when you ask me a question, I ain't gonna say, yo, send that cash app. My payment is to see you win. My payment is to see you not in a goddamn jail cell. My payment is to see you with your children. Alive. My payment is seeing you bury your parents, not your parents burying you. It's your big brother, Breakout. You already know where I'm at, man. You can find me, Mr. Breakout, everywhere. So, <laughs> send me that message. Like I said, you got a question, you want to ask me some, you need some advice, I'm here. And I don't care if 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 you a drug addict who ain't got nothing, or if if you are a sober and you got a hundred thousand dollars and you making that yearly. I don't care. I'm not gonna judge you. It's not my job to judge or shame you. It's my job to tell you the truth. All right. It's my job to tell you, yo, you fucking up. This is what you're doing wrong, and this is how you fix it. If you're not willing to put in the work, don't waste my time and don't waste your time. But let's get it. Stay on that 25A grind, cause that all day, every day is breakout time.